R.I.P. Oh, well, R.I.P. to the freaking tires. Scuffed them all up with grass and dirt. Well, let's go. Gonna have to turn this heat on. Windshield was just getting a bit too, bit too foggy, and now it's all good to go. Check that truck out, guys. Oh my gosh, those new Fords, it's so hot. I don't even know what I would get if I could buy a brand new truck. I don't know, those Fords have the highest of the heights of all of them, and of course you can get 35s, 37s under their stock, no problem, so I'm sure you could probably level, lift a little bit, put 40s under them. It's ridiculous, guys. It's honestly ridiculous that this is happening so fast. You know, they're just increasing tire sizes and truck height. The higher the truck, the better, because that means the more the people have to do, the lower them, because I honestly, I don't like lower trucks at all. If I see any cool old trucks for sale, new trucks for sale, we're definitely gonna go check them out. Oh, I love the grill on that Silverado, guys. Damn, the truck is looking sweet. Oh, look at that. Look at that old blazer right there. Oh, is that a C4? Damn, there's some cool stuff back here, but I'm loving that right there. Oh no, that's a Ram. That's what they used to look like, guys. You gotta love those. And I always take those rain guards for granted on the Silverado. As you can see, I got rain all over the window here. But I mean, I kind of don't have an option because with the window up, way too tinted to see anything really. I got a nice heavy duty truck. That back there. Look how classic and old that pickup is, man. That dump bed. Ford right there. Another new Ford, man. Look at that. Traffic going into Harrisburg on that side of the road. That is why I never use that highway. At least going that way, I never use. I used to work at restaurants, grocery stores, military bases, and I must say, nothing beats hard work because getting that check is always the best feeling guys so i know you guys can relate to that in all seriousness i did save every penny i ever have always save every penny that is why i'm able to afford truck mods and trucks and go on traveling trips because i looked at the future it's hard for people to look in the future because they don't know if that's going to happen they're like oh it's too expensive i don't have the dream to do that i don't think i want to or something you just got to want it guys got to motivate yourself and push yourself forward and eventually you can do whatever you want oh yeah and also every single comment that i ever get on any video i usually always respond to each and every one of them even the negative ones i mean i'll say something small but i won't backlash on them or anything i'll just say my opinion or i'll tell something about the channel or something in the future that's happening to maybe change their mind shrug it off and tell them something cool about the channel or the future of the channel so i don't know if you guys can hear it but i'm still running the heat in the truck and one of the things i don't like about it is that well it is very hot and it kind of puts me to sleep to be honest see how nice and narrow these roads are very nice of them to do that look at the design of that building Okay, so we got to head up here and I got something to mail out. Like I mentioned before, I run a business. Always been into electronics and it's always been a passion of mine since birth, really ever since I first touched a computer. One of those fat back CRT monitors was hooked up to my first computer and a lot of you guys probably remember that, what it was like to have one of those. The quality was always terrible and they were very slow. I'm here at the post office, finally got the parking spot I always wanted, but of course it's so foggy that you can't see the mountain chains in the background. We're here at the post office. Oh man, I can't lock that, it's not an extended cab, so I'm gonna have to open this up. And let's grab this. What's in the box? Man, now I gotta open this up and lock it again. Make sure I got the keys, yep, let's go. <laughs> Already got the receipt, it's all mailed out so we can head out once again. I always like this post office better because the parking is a lot better than the one that's closer to my house. Man, it's pretty cool. Cummins Park job, guys. Figured it was finally time to turn the heat off and I always like to keep them at stock positions like that. Got the window down. Let's start her up. Oh yeah. And here we go. Gotta start up the exhaust brake. Guess it ain't cold enough. Big truck problems 101. Can't get out of a parking lot. Stop McDonald's here, everyone's getting lunch. Look at that, buffalo bacon grease, man. Billions and billions served. It's Cummins Park job. 
wait until it's up in the air. Yeah, can I get a double cheeseburger checker flag? Guys, this is what I'm talking about. Look at that Ford, man. It looks like it'd be lifted, but it's not. Past the Porsche, guys. I mean, there's the people with the crazy diesel trucks, and then you got the people with like the nice Porsche SUV. So that's basically it, guys. People will start a family here. Wives will have the Porsches. The guys will have the extremely built, tons of money thrown into them, diesel trucks. So I guess that's how it is here in the 717. Right there, I think it was a Cummins. Guy from Florida right here, Lucky Sons of Guns. I'm thinking for the next vacation trips that I take, try to get my hands on a very nice truck for the area. And I'll try to daily vlog for you guys to give you guys a little bit of a switch up. A lot of palm trees, a lot of places to drive to, lifted trucks and cool cars and everything. So I'm gonna try to daily vlog whenever I do that. So there's a house up here that I wanna show you guys. I'm thinking about maybe this will be the future. I'm not really sure. Might not be enough land though, but another cool one. That for the Cummins, big garage for the Cummins man that is what's up I saw a listing for sale for this house maybe I should buy it build some trucks invite the friends over holy crap look at that place dude oh my gosh look how crazy three car garage a roof that looks like it's from California and you can't see from here but their view is the view of the Susquehanna River that is a crazy place, man. Oh, look at that spec. So right up in front of us is the capital of my state of Pennsylvania, Harrisburg. You got City Island in the middle there. It's very cool. They have really nice baseball games. You can bike around, walk around the whole island. It's pretty awesome. The city itself, I bike through it a lot. It's not very safe, but it's all right, I guess. This place has the cheapest diesel, 299, 263 for regular petroleum. It's not that cheap. The only bad thing is, is that you have to use this horrible old pump. And when you go in there, you have to tell them exact amount of diesel you want to put in. I usually like to fill the tank. Sonoma right there and check out this house, freshly built. start you guys off with a little thumbnail here's a good thumbnail of the truck it's pretty cool looking outside here today get a side shot for you people always like to see that oh man as I look closer now dang all that dirt and filth all that hard blood sweat and tears to clean up this truck once again I don't know how I'm gonna get out of here it's probably gonna get stuck but whatever uh, yeah I've driven in the water there a little bit and it's pretty scary on the Susquehanna River I've gotten stuck while in the water so I usually don't try to do that Usually around five or six o'clock, there'll be a ton of people showing up, going under the bridge to fish, especially on a rainy day like today. Actually, it is not raining anymore. There it is, the city of Harrisburg. Got the truck right here. Kayaked here and went to an island, probably that one. And it's pretty sketchy. I usually like to stick to the creeks because at least you can swim to the side in about a minute. Best engine ever made, the 6.7, the remake of the 5.9. Basically the 5.9 2.0. I do have some mount holes to be able to mount a toolbox on the truck. I think that's what that's for. I'm not really sure. It might've been a ladder rack or a bed cap or something. If you guys wanted to see that, I'd put some truck whips on it, get that CB in there. I always wanted to move in one of those luxury condos. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, thanks. Here you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna get some work done. What's some odds that I'm gonna be doing? I'm gonna be doing it myself. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so I can see you next video. Until then, take it easy. No single car or truck or any other machine for that matter has a better engine.